Hello, this is a video on generating a sample from a truncated Cauchy distribution. And really this is a follow-up video that I just put out on the mean and the variance of a truncated Cauchy distribution. And in there we drive the density, um, the inverse CDF that helps us generate these Cauchy distribution samples or observations. And so in this is just to explore so you can see visually what's going on. Now I always like to remove any uh, extra variables or objects so I run that command. Now this first one uh, creates a truncated Cauchy distribution and if we look at this the highlighted part here that is a Cauchy distribution where mu is location and s is scale X is, of course, our observations. And then here we have to divide by the probability of being between A and B where we truncate the Cauchy distribution. And so this is the density. And then below here, I want to explore the density. And so the first line here just plots a standard Cauchy distribution from negative 3 to 3. And we use uh, the mu zero and, and the scale parameters one and then I create truncated Cauchy's from different ranges and let me just run this and then we'll discuss the plot so here the red curve is the standard Cauchy distribution and these black ones are truncated Cauchy from from this standard Cauchy so the first one truncates it at negative point to 5 0.25 and the area under this curve is 1 because it is a density and then I do increments of 0.25 so this next curve this next truncated Cauchy is from negative 0.5 to 0.5 and the area under it is 1 and here's negative 0.75 to 0.75 negative 1 to 1 and you can see that these of course have to approach the regular Cauchy distribution as you know A goes to negative infinity and B goes to positive infinity of course it limits to the standard Cauchy but that's the general shape of what's going on now we don't have to have A and B centered we can have it you know from 2 to 22 you know we could truncate it over here and in one of my later plots I do that so you can see what's going on but let, now let's look at creating the random sample. So this function creates a random sample of size n. You get to determine what, what goes in there. And uh, you get to determine the Cauchy distribution, the underlying Cauchy distribution with a location and scale parameter, and then where you truncate it from A to B. And this is what follows is the inverse CDF. And in here you can see that we put a random uniform 0 to 1 random variable. That's easy to create. And then we put it into this inverse CDF and it creates a truncated Cauchy distribution. Now here I generate 10,000 samples or 10,000 observations from a truncated Cauchy. And in this first example we just go from negative 2 to 2. We truncate it at that. And the location parameter 0 scale is 1 we just plot the histogram and then over the top of it we plot what the theoretical curve should be. So let's run this and then look at and see what is produced. And you can first notice it's negative 2 to 2 and that it should be because that's what we truncated. But notice that the the random sample, the histogram is and the theoretical curve agree exactly and as it should be. So that's it's expected but to me that's just so neat and so easy to generate these now in the next sample next uh, uh, simulation we truncate it over here I think it's a point or two to two to twenty two let's look so yeah I, I uh, we truncate it from two to twenty two and the underlying Cauchy has a scale or a location parameter of 0 and a scale parameter of 11 and then again we plot the histogram of our simulated data and plot the theoretical curve on top of it 
So let's run that and then see what we get. And first of all, notice it is from 2 to 22, as it should be. And the simulated data is the histogram, and the theoretical curve is the red line. And they agree 100%. So anyway, that is so neat to me that how it all works. And now the, the math behind this, if you're interested, is in this video that I created earlier today, mean and variance of a truncated Cauchy, if you want to see the math behind this. Otherwise, I'll just put the code, I'll copy and paste the code in one of the comments so you can use it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I sure did creating it. Uh, like it if you did and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Thank you. Bye.